Hi everybody, I'm going to pull some cards and see what the story is. Uh, please keep in mind that when I do these individual readings, they probably only resonate for about maybe like 10 people or so. So this might not be your story. It's totally possible that you're in that zodiac, one of the, you know, if you're following like my Aries or Leo videos, you know, that might be your continued story. You might be in that energy group that I channel over time, but this particularly might not be your story. So just keep in mind that if it's not resonating, it just means it's not your story and just, you know, stick to the Zodiac videos and then maybe sooner or later I will channel your story. But these are just sort of individual, um, you know, messages for a specific group of people, probably only about 10 people, but let's see what, let's see what the cards want to say. I hear tell them their finances are getting better. Tell them their finances are going to get better. You'll be struggling. It's like you're not sure how you're going to pay rent, but your guides are providing for you. Probably through unexpected resources, I feel. I feel like something that you're working, that you're worrying about is going to actually pan out in your favor. Could just be a message for a couple of you, but let's see what the story is. The chariot. You are moving forward more quickly than you realize too. This is this is passion. This is this is fiery energy. You're not quite real realizing how strong you are. It's like you have the power to make this happen, but you're sort of like isolating yourself, or you're procrastinating and telling yourself you're not ready. You might be caught up in heartbreak, caught up in some drama. Um, I feel like, okay, I feel like this is a message for someone who's procrastinating and you're telling yourself like that you have to wait. Like you don't realize that you're procrastinating. I don't think, I think that you're just telling yourself like, like say it's like an art project or say it's something like, like finding a new job or, um, or moving to a new location. It'd be something with like pentacles kind of energy, like like transitioning, doing something new, like starting your own business, um, leaving a stagnant job and going to a new job, like moving to a new location, like investing in some, well, don't invest during Mercury retrograde. Let me put that out there. Don't, as soon as I said, I was like, wait, no, <laughs> not during Mercury retrograde, but, but you get the, you get the idea. It's, it's some sort of, um, uh, some sort of energy that it's like this, this leap of faith that it's it's transitioning from stagnant energy from like the same old same old to something new something kind of unfamiliar and i feel like this is something that's been in the back of your mind for months if not years but i feel like you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone and this could be for some of you this could be starting your own business like maybe you do like psychic work or something but like you're always working with other people like you never really like you kind of try to branch out, but it's like you never go all out with it. You're always kind of like almost not like codependent in like a like not like in an intense way, but almost like you kind of rely on other people's ideas too much or you rely on other people's energy. And it's like you can actually I just get this the sense of like this need for independence. So like maybe you do need some help, like you do need guidance along the way, like you might need like a mentor or someone like that. But it's like. I just get a sense that you have this creative energy that you can bring something new into the world and you're downplaying it. You're suppressing it. It's like you're trying to compare your ideas to other people's ideas. And and so it's like you're getting sucked up in their energy. It's like you might have some weird creative idea like regarding um, like art or music or like psychic work or whatever it might be like like psychology it could be anything like you just have these like new creative ideas but then you're like well how would that work like that sounds kind of weird I don't know about that like that's a little out there I don't know if people would resonate with that but it's like trial and arrow air trial and arrow oh my god isn't there a god named Eros I mean, maybe that's like a message for some of you um <laughs> isn't he one of the love gods i swear i've heard that name i'm not familiar i'm not too familiar with those gods though i usually just work with the norse and celtic and egyptian ones so i'm not sure um trial and error anyway 
But it's like you've got to let go of the pride and the ego because it's like you're so afraid to fail or you're so afraid that you're going to do it wrong or you're so afraid that um, that your ideas are weird. And it's like, you know what, you might you might put some weird ideas out there and they might get rejected, but then you're going to learn. You're going to get feedback and people are going to be like, that, there's some good ideas there, but it, um, or there, the, you know, you have the right idea, but maybe let's, let's work on this. Let's edit this part of that out a little bit. So it's like trial and error where you're going to put those ideas out there and you're going to get feedback, whether it's positive or negative. But if you can take the constructive criticism, then you're going to rebuild whatever that was, you're going to rebuild it and make something new and better. And you're going to be bringing your own creative ideas out there. This could be like a musician who it's like you're starting to write your own songs, but you're worried your songs aren't good enough. It's like you have to. What was that like Dave Grohl quote where he was saying he doesn't like American? I, I think it was Dave Grohl. I think he was saying that he doesn't. Um like American Idol because it's like these these kids are like singing their hearts out and then they're rejected and told that they're not good enough and then they just they end up not going down that path they end up you know getting it like working a nine to five job instead of p pursuing their music because they got rejected on that one show and it's like you can't let the rejection stop you if you're on a really intense path, especially when it comes to art, psychology, music, though, like things and things of those nature, you're going to get rejected. You're going to have people judge you. You're going to have haters. You're going to have competition. You're going to have people that don't believe in you. And you're going to have to push past that. And you're going to just have to, you know, make the world your oyster and bring this creative energy into the world, even if other people aren't on board with it or they don't understand it you know what I mean and if you bring in this idea out and, and it gets rejected it's like you you know what to do better next time but um sorry when I channel I start rambling a lot sometimes but but it's it's so the Dave Grohl quote was what I was saying it's like these musicians you know they they pour their heart out and they're actually really good but they're just not quite as good as the other singers that have been practicing for years and years or whatever it might be and then you know, they have the chance to get better, but they take that rejection so harshly that they just quit. And they could have been, you know, the next Elton John or whoever, you know what I mean? And they didn't go down that path because of that show. So he was he was saying, like, his point was, you know, you're supposed to be in a crappy garage band, like in your teens or 20s or 30s, like you're supposed to suck at first, you're supposed to play at, like little dive bars at first, or like, you know, coffee houses, or in your basement, whatever. It's like you're going to suck at first and you just have to accept that. It, it's it's going to be shaky at first. And then that's you practice and you practice and you practice and eventually you're going to get to that point just by, you know, your energy, by putting yourself out there, by, you know, being willing to do that where your voice is going to build up. Or if you're a guitarist or a drummer, it's like it's going to suck at first. You're not just going to learn it overnight. It's going to take time to build up. But um, like once you're there, it's like you're going to, you know what I mean? Like you're going to gain the experience. But if you keep falling back down every time someone rejects you or every time someone questions you, it's like you're never going to get there. You have to push through that energy. You have to just stop hiding from those potential roadblocks or stop hiding from the fear of rejection and just push past it and get there. You know what I mean? This could be about hobbies too because I feel like maybe some of you are pursuing um learning like a musical instrument or something like that or like a new hobby and you're like what if I'm too old to learn this hobby or like what if like oh god this is gonna take a long time or whatever and it's like you just you have to just push through it you have to just you know you know what I mean um so it's hobbies and it's also career where it's like some of you are you're entrepreneurs like you're meant to be entrepreneurs but you still have these fears of standing on your own that are holding you back it's like you have these amazing creative ideas and then you go to other people with them and you might actually have competition around you. So you might actually have these really good ideas and then it's like you take them to one of your coworkers or like one of your friends and you're like, hey, what if we did this? And they're like jealous of you and they're like, oh, that sounds stupid. Like, I don't know about that because it's like they just want to keep you small, you know, just for a couple of you, not all of you. But I, I kind of get that energy too where it's like... You need to be willing to be weird and be creative and put yourself out there. You need to let your ego go. You need to let your pride go. You need to, you're so worried about like, what if I get rejected? Like, what if I have haters? What if I have competition? What if I have this? What if I have that? You're going to have those things. Like, you're just naturally going to have those things. I have haters on my YouTube channel. Like, 
I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this. It's not going to phase me. You know what I mean? Like you're, if you're doing something really intense, you're going to have those haters. If you're really putting yourself out there and you're bringing this new, innovative, creative energy into the world, like you're going to have jealous people. You're going to have haters. You need to just kind of accept that as part of this reality and not let it phase you so much and just push past them as hard as it is. Um, and sometimes it's not even haters. Sometimes it's just constru constructive criticism. Like, you know, like I was saying, like the point about like songwriting, it's like, yeah, the first song as you write, might be crap. Like you're, cause you're just, you're, you're experimenting and you, you keep writing and you keep getting better and better. So it's like, you might share one of the first songs you wrote with someone and they might be like, okay, this was pretty good, but it was a little repetitive. I think that the chorus needs to be a little bit catchier. Um, but it's like, don't take that as an attack. Just take that as constructive criticism. Like, let that fuel you to do better next time. You know what I mean? Like, you need to step out of your comfort zone and just keep going. And you need to change your perspective so that these little opinions of others, whether, whether again, some of the opinions are positive, like they're just constructive criticism, like someone's trying to help you do better. And then some of them are actually jealous haters. It's, it's both. You're going to get both, to be honest. You're going to get a mix of good and bad. And you just, you have to learn to change that perspective and just kind of roll with it and, and use that constructive criticism in a positive way. Um, we have 11, 11 on the 11 minutes, 11 seconds into the video right now. Um, so yeah, you, you got to push through it. You have to accept, like, it doesn't matter if you're bad at it at first. I think everyone's bad at everything that they first start, when they first start doing it, you got You got to keep going with it. You know what I mean? It's like, don't get discouraged. And you might learn slower than others. And that's, that's okay too. Like I, I love jewelry making. Like I have a whole room in my apartment that's just devoted to arts and crafts and like woodworking and jewelry making and all this stuff. And like when I took a jewelry class at, at, um, college, I, my jewelry looked like absolute garbage. Like it looked like something a toddler would make. It looked so bad. And I realized later that it was because I didn't like the structure. I didn't, I didn't like having to do it on their timelines. I didn't like having to, um, like make the jewelry a specific way. I didn't like their methods, but when I just bought a bunch of stuff, like just d different beads and strings and, you know, clamps and like, um, like little dragon eyes and stuff to like make, to make stuff with, you know, I just, I just started like, like it, it, I made some really cool stuff. Like I made, you know what I mean? Like I made, here, I'll show you guys. I'll actually show you guys. Let me show you. It's one of my favorite necklaces I made. I'm totally not bragging. I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm trying to put the point out there. Cause you'll see with this necklace, it's like, it's weird. Like it's not like a normal jewelry. It's something kind of weird and out there that most people wouldn't even be into. I'm probably not going to be able to get like a good video of it, but here it is. It's got like a little, yeah, it's hard to show you guys. It's got like a little moon on it, but, and I like, I love it. I love it, you know, but my point is like, I would never have been able to make that in that class. You know what I mean? Like it just wasn't that kind of class. It was like very structured and like a lot of people, like a lot of people just don't do well in those structured environments and they do really well when they go down their own path. So it's that it's not it's not knocking college like I went to college for a while and I'm glad that I did it. But like it ended up ultimately not being my my path. You know what I mean? It was just a good learning experience and it made me more confident cuz I felt like I was actually really finally doing something. But I just want to make that point like I could have never made jewelry like that in that class. Like I had to, when I just started experimenting with different things and I was totally willing to screw up and have it look like crap and whatever, just like, you know, just, just sitting there, just experimenting, like whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to, you know, try to mat match these beads, see what colors go together, like make it kind of weird. I don't care. Just, just artwork. You know, I tell, I tell people the same thing about witchcraft. Witchcraft is meant to be artwork. It's meant to be creative. It's meant to be personal. Um, so it's like, I, I did so much better when I just let, let it flow and I didn't have that structure. You know what I mean? And I feel like the, this group is like the same way I feel. It's like, not that you shouldn't go to college. Like I think college is a great experience and it really teaches you a lot. So and it's like you, it kind of, it built your confidence. Like I built my confidence a lot in college. Like it definitely marked a before and after period for me. So I don't regret it. Even though I, I went into a different field, I studied criminal justice and psychology 
and um, communication in college. But it's and it's like I went down a completely different field. Now it's like this is my path. Um, doing the tarot readings and you know all all that kind of thing. But it's like I don't regret it though, because it, it taught me a lot. But um, but yeah, sorry for rambling. But it's just like it's that that point that you're like you need to get out of that tunnel vision. You need to. Like for this group, it's like, I don't know if structure is what you need. I think that you need that willingness to be independent. You need that willingness to be creative. You need that willingness to just push yourself out of your comfort zone and, and just deal with the rejection, deal with, deal with the fact that it might not be good at first and it might take you a long time to get to where that might take not a long time, but it's, it's, it's a process to get to where you want to be. You can't expect it to happen overnight. But you you need to start bringing your ideas. You need to get your out of your oh my god, you need to get your ideas out of your head and onto paper at the very least onto paper and then into the physical world more and more. You need to put them out there, even if they get rejected. You still need to put them out there just so you can get that constructive criticism, so that you can get on the right track, so you can start making this happen for yourself in the physical. I feel like this group. You guys keep sabotaging yourself because you keep procrastinating and you don't even realize that you're procrastinating. You just keep trying to perfect it. You're like, I can't bring this idea out into the world until it's it's absolutely perfect or I can't be an entrepreneur until, you know, I have all all this going on and you know, everything's stable and everything's perfect in my life. Then I'll be an entrepreneur. Then I'll start my business. Um you know, I can't per I can't take guitar lessons until I've, you know, mastered piano or, or I can't, I can't start a band because, um, you know, until I have like a $5,000 guitar or just, you know, crap like that, where it's like, you're just trying to be, you're being a perfectionist and you need to just get the experience. You need to get the experience. You stop being a perfectionist and just put yourself out there so you can get the experience write that song even if it's crappy and get the constructive criticism next time you'll do it better but you'll you need the experience now you need to get out there now you know what i mean if you can't afford a ten thousand dollar guitar no one can you know what i mean like just get a fifty dollar sixty dollar a hundred dollar guitar on amazon and start playing and start practicing even if you can't play a song for months even if it takes you months to memorize just start doing it because whatever it is that you're doing here, I feel like it might take months or even years to get to like a point where you're like the master of it, whatever it is, whether it's a skill set or a hobby or a career, it's like there is going to be a buildup. And if you keep avoiding the buildup, then it's like you, you can't dive in and just suddenly be a master at it. You know what I mean? You can't, you're trying to be a perfectionist and it's like, you need to just get the experience. You need to start putting these ideas out there. Um, some of you do want to like kind of protect your ideas because you might have some jealous people around you. Like you already have really good ideas, but maybe you have jealous people around you that want to steal them. But I mean, you probably know if that's your situation. You know what I mean? Just be careful. But it's like, it's just saying you just need to start. Like you keep procrastinating and you're doing it because you're like, you're in this mentality of like, well, I have to do this first and I have to do that first and then I'll start that. Like you're giving yourself like a timeline, like, Oh, in December, I'll, I'll start practicing this or I'll start, you know, in December, I'll open my business or um, in December, I'll find a new job. It's like, you know, giving yourself to like the end of the year for some of you. It's like you're you're controlling it too much. This energy just needs to flow freely. You're just there's there's too much control here. Um and so it's like you're going in circles and you're stagnant and you're procrastinating and you think that you're like getting somewhere and you're honestly not because you're just you're in the same place you were. You're, you're just I'm not saying that you should never plan it out like you should plan it out, but it's like this you've been planning out for a long time, I feel. Or it's like something that's so simple that it's like you're just you're just do it like. If it's like guitar or something, just do it. It's not that big of a deal. Don't make it such a huge thing. Don't make it yourself feel like you have to be perfect to deserve this or to be able to do this. You know what I mean? Like, just just do it. <laughs> like, just get started. Just Even if it's baby steps, you need to just get started because you keep procrastinating. You keep giving yourself these deadlines. Like, I have to get this in order and get that in order and, like, this like, control issues. Like, everything has to be perfect and then I'll start it and then I'll start the business. And it's like... You don't even realize you're procrastinating. You think that you think that you're planning things out, 
when really you're just sabotaging yourself. Because you can plan things out right now. You can get a notebook and just write out like what, what, you know what I mean? Like you can plan things out, but you're not doing any of that. You're just like, you're just putting it in the future. And the truth is though, when, when you get to December, like let's say it's like starting a new business. The truth is when you get to December, you're going to find another excuse and you're going to be like, actually, I need to add this to my business before I launch it. So let's wait till April. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you're going to find some other excuse because you're sabotaging yourself subconsciously due to your own like subconscious insecurities or fears of failure, fears of rejection, even fears of success. Like people can even have like that fear of success because it's like a fear of change. Like you might deep down be afraid of actually succeeding. Like you might be afraid of the responsibility that comes with success. You might be afraid of um, just that pressure, like this before and after period of your life, like afraid of the change, like, you know, all these things that are going to come in for you. And it's like, you're gonna, if, unless you force yourself out of this energy, you're gonna keep staying stagnant. You're gonna keep repeating this energy. Um, you're going to stay on this merry-go-round. So you really got to force yourself out of your comfort zone. Like you just, and I'm not saying don't plan. It's just, it's this, this group, if this is your story, it's like, it's past just planning. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you've been, you've been probably in this stagnant energy for a while. Or it's like something, I feel like either this is like a big thing and you've just been stagnant and you've been trying to perfect it for a while and you need to just start because you need the experience. Like I said, you're, you're going to need the experience to build up because you're it's going to take time to build up to where you want to be. So you need to get started now. You need to make this physically happen now, like today, like just do something, even just a little, little something, little baby steps, just do something, just get out of the, off the merry-go-round, just, just start. Um, and for others, I feel like maybe this is something kind of smaller, but you're still like procrastinating and sabotaging it. Like for some of you, this is like learning to play guitar or like learning a new skill or learning to read tarot or something of that sort. And you're like, well, I have to, I have to master this other skill first, or I have to like, everything has to be perfect before I can do that. It's like, oh my God, just, just start, just start you guys, <laughs> you know, like just, just accept the unknown, like embrace the unknown, embrace the fact that it's going to be a, that's, that you're not going to be at your best at first and just, just keep going with it. So I hope this helps. If you'd like a, a paid private reading, I can look in depth into this situation, like what this might be, what your options might be, um, you know, into your love life too, whatever you want to know. My email is below and please subscribe if this resonates and um, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up. So thank you for watching.